So we have some interesting analysis regarding the Spider-Man Stuntronic flying robot technology that's going to be swinging its way over the Avengers campus at Disney California Adventure later this summer. So let's dive into all of that up next. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels, a platinum level authorized Disney vacation planner which can take the hassle out of all of your vacation planning. So visit the link in the description box to get your free quote today. Hi there Walteners, I'm Jack and this is of course DSMI Newscast and very quickly I just want to say that I'm going to be doing a Twitter giveaway for these DSMI Newscast poster magnets of the studio posters right behind me. So if you want to be in with a chance to win, all you've got to do is just make sure to follow DSMI Newscast on Twitter and also like the tweet that's talking about this video. And then I'll pick out five winners and then I'll tag you and make sure everyone's notified. But anyway, on with the video. As back in March 2018, Disney released this video, announcing plans that they were finally going to build their own version of a Marvel themed land within Disney parks around the world. And at the time, this teaser seemed to be nothing more than a direction of travel. However, as we can see, much of what we saw within that teaser poster for the then unnamed land can now be found within the Avengers campus at Disney California Venture. But what was even more interesting was Disney's decision to anchor this whole land success on a character they didn't even fully own. As front and center of everything regarding the incoming Marvel presence at DCA has been Spider-Man. Now Disney does retain the rights to the Spider-Man merchandise and the licensing of the character for things like the Disney parks around the world. Although in the United States, because of the 1994 MCA Marvel agreement, that brought Superior Island to Universal Studios. Disney can only use Spider-Man west of the Mississippi River, which means that Disney can use all the Marvel characters at Disneyland Resort, but can only use Marvel characters that are not represented anywhere within Universal Studios Orlando within Walt Disney World. But why use Spider-Man? As traditional business thinking points to two very good reasons not to use Spider-Man as the main character within Phase 1 of the Avengers Campus. As with Sony retaining the creative control through their exclusive production deal for the Spider-Man movies, the success and popularity of the character in the franchise lies in the stewardship of Sony and the somewhat tumultuous relationship between Disney and Sony as we saw last year. However, all of that uncertainty is superseded by one simple fact, and that is there is no character that is more synonymous with the word Marvel than that of Spider-Man. And then you've got the other factor that there's already a direct comparison to be made when creating a Spider-Man attraction, as of course there is the amazing adventures of Spider-Man at Universal Studios Orlando, which has been heralded as one of the best dark rides in the entire world. But instead of avoiding comparisons, Disney wants to go in the opposite direction and tackle this issue head on, by confidently envisioning how Spider-Man should be used to his full potential through the creativity of Walt Disney Imagine engineering within a Disney park. And so to surpass these very high expectations, we're going to see Spider-Man brought to life like we've never seen before, through the use of advanced robotic technology capable of performing various acrobatic combinations of flips, twists and poses with repeatable precision and accuracy. Now this autonomous robotic technology began within Disney research as the Stickman project, before evolving to become known as Stuntronics in 2018. However, we've speculated since first seeing this in 2018 and in 2019 that it was only logical that a certain masked web slinger might be the first use case for this technology. And then Disney confirmed this two weeks ago and Spider-Man will be taking to the skies above the Avengers campus, which has led many to question how this will actually work within the park environment. And well, the first thing to note here is that this Spidey Stuntronic won't be propelling himself over the guest areas because of the safety concerns and issues that would entail. Although Disney could get around this by using some form of netting between the different types of buildings, but that's highly doubtful as it's not even alluded to in any of the concept art. But instead, this will be strictly confined 
to the rooftop of the Spider-Man attraction building. Now at this point I want to give a quick shout out to the YouTube channel Yensid55 which I'll link to down below, as they astutely noticed from a near map satellite image that there seemed to be a launch and landing zone built on top of the building. However, thanks to BioReconstruct's excellent aerial images from November of 2019, we can get a much better look at this entire area. As we can see, the surrounding elevated platform where the Stuntronic will be prepped for its trajectory is by harnessing it to the jib crane at a specific angle and then most likely we'll see Spider-Man catapulted 80 feet into this landing area here. However the one concern that I have is that despite how accurate the autonomous robot can be through the use of onboard accelerometers and gyroscopes supported by laser range finding to precisely calculate the landing in real time this area does seem fairly small and doesn't allow much room for unexpected error which if we compare this relatively confined landing area to the sizable net that the Stuntronic was catapulted into in the Imagineering story, advancements must have been made to ensure that the Stuntronic remains strictly within the landing zone. But an alternate theory here could be that the Stuntronic will land within this backstage area at the ground level, providing a much larger surface area for the Stuntronic to precisely hit. However, when looking at the test footage, it's clear that the autonomous robot's aim is height and not distance. So the 80 foot parameter on top of the building does seem about right, especially if the Stuntronic is propelled very high into the air, creating a much tighter parabola for the Stuntronic to hit the landing area. But then we see in the construction images that there is the inclusion of this camera pointing towards this crane beam which has recently been installed, which may indicate that there might be more than one Stuntronic in use, which could see Spider-Man not only swing his way over this section here, but also to the ground level to perhaps then begin a meet and greet as we can see in the concept art that this area has been sectioned off from a guest accessible space. So yes, perhaps this is all part of some elaborate outdoor entertainment stunt show on the rooftops of the Avengers campus as we've seen alluded to in other pieces of concept art. Although this type of elaborate show would cause guests to block the entrance way to the attraction whilst watching and create some congestion throughout this very small four acre land. So personally, I'm leaning more towards this being used as part of an introduction segment to a meet and greet and walk around of the Spider-Man character throughout the Avengers campus. But then again, who knows, maybe we're going down the wrong path with all of this, and we might just see Spider-Man fired off through the air to mark the hour every hour, like Admiral Boom's cannon from Mary Poppins. But that's not all with regards to Spider-Man and the Avengers campus as thanks to an interview from the OC Register with Vice President of DCA Patrick Finnegan. We now have it confirmed within the yet to be named Spider-Man attraction. Guests will sling webs using sensor-based technology embedded within the top and bottom of the ride vehicles that will then detect the iconic Spider-Man hand gesture and then fire a corresponding web in 3D, making it feel as if you really are web slinging right alongside Spider-Man. Which in many ways, this is an advanced implementation of the same shooter style ride technology found within Legoland's Ninjago attraction, which only uses basic swipe gestures instead. And furthermore, we also receive confirmation that the Doctor Strange Sanctum will indeed be a training style show experience, similar to that of a Jedi Training Academy. But through the use of special effects and projections, guests will be able to harness energy from different dimensions and explore the mysteries of the multiverse. However, we won't have to wait long to see all of this in action. And as we can see that this construction is progressing very quickly at Disney California Adventure. With the additional theming elements installed on top of the Worldwide Engineering Brigade building which will house the Spider-Man attraction with the exterior brickwork and red panels almost being complete. And then over at the Avengers HQ building it's receiving some elements to the top of a Quinjet landing pad and also where it's suspected that additional show space might be. However despite all of that there is still quite a lot of work to be completed on the Ant Man Pym Technologies test kitchen and the sanctum of the mystic arts. So judging by the current pace of construction, the official summer opening time frame for the Avengers campus will most likely be sometime in June, if not July, of this year. 
But now, it's over to you, Vlogs, and as I would like to know, with Disney using this Stuntronic technology to bring Spider-Man to life within the Disney parks, what would you like to see Disney do next with the Stuntronic technology to bring other characters to life in the same way? And that could be Star Wars, Marvel, Pixar, or Disney characters, and also using Stuntronics, and maybe even the combination of other types of technologies like drone technology as well. And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video along with your suggestion or your comment to be with a chance to win one of these official DSMI newscasts enamel pins. And congratulations to this Waltzner here for me this suggestion from a previous video where we're talking all about the Tokyo Disney Sea expansion of Fantasy Springs. And so that's it for today. So be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification icon so therefore you always receive an update whenever I release new videos on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And also if you enjoyed today's video, all about the Spider-Man Stuntronic, then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.